Hey everyone, welcome back to AWS Cast. This is Intermediate AWS. Today we're talking about VPCs with public and private subnets. As a quick overview, this is the architecture that we're going to be creating. Here we go. So the first thing that we're going to create is this public instance. And remember, this is the one that's going to be uh, accessible to the public internet. right? So we're going to give it the public security group. So we come into the EC2 dashboard, hit launch instance, plain old Amazon Linux, um, the, the free tier eligible instance because I'm cheap. Make sure you select the VPC that we just created and also this is the public subnet, make sure that's selected. Um, auto assign public IP, we want to enable that. We need to be able to access, to access it from the public internet. To do that, you have to have a public IP address. So then come down here to the advanced details section. You have to click on it to expand it. And um, it's what I'm having this do, this is just to help us test. This is a shell script that will install a simple web server, turn it on, make sure it comes on uh, when we restart the server. If that were to happen, change to the uh, directory that the web server serves out of and then we're just gonna have it print this simple message on a web page when we go to that URL uh, public page works so the next thing would be add storage what we have by default is fine we're gonna add a couple of tags to make um, to make it easier so this will be just public instance um, the next thing we do is hit is add the security group. Remember, this is the public security group. Uh, you can see that it's accessible from anywhere on ports 80 and 2020, or I'm sorry, 80 and 22. We'll view and launch. Everything looks great. Launch again. I have that key. Hit launch, and we'll wait a couple of minutes for this to come online. 